There is good news in Airport CEO. We've managed to get ourselves a new project group, which means we can go ahead and start two research projects at the same time, which seems like it would be a pretty good idea. Now, with that said, I'm kind of tempted to go for things like cabin cleaning and the subway and de-icing and all of that. But I don't know that we would necessarily need that right now. I'm not really sure that we need to be cleaning out the tiny little planes and de-icing and all that. And especially since the chances are that later on we're going to be honestly rebuilding the entire terminal the way we did in the first series that we did of this. So chances are that we don't really need to be looking into cabin cleaning and all that yet. I do think we'll go for the subway permit. I think that could maybe be something that we, we could look into. And I'm thinking we could maybe look into different types of fuel trucks or maybe just baggage handling. I think baggage handling would be quite useful. The remote stand service could be as well. We could have our medium planes go out onto remote stands, but I think let's do baggage handling. So let's start that project. We are going to need a total of, well, two more administrators. So we'll go ahead and throw five on there. We'll throw three on there and we'll get ourselves, let's see, applicants and filter by administrator. We'll get Connor and we'll get Ma Marinella. Okay. Okay. Names are not my uh, strong suit is, is what I'm going to say right there. Names are not my strong suit. Now, I'm curious though, in terms of efficiency on this, we are currently looking at a what exactly? I'm pretty sure if I hover over this at some point, it will tell me what exactly is going on, right? It does give me the stats. I could swear this eventually gives... I don't know if it gives me the stats at all. Anyway, upkeep is reduced overall in the airport. That's that's the point. That's the good thing that we have going on is upkeep is uh, reduced a little bit. What we also have at the minute is the option to go in and build airline lounges. And I know I mentioned these in the last episode. I'm pretty sure I talked about uh, building, you know, way up high so that the lounges are kind of looking out over the airport. But I kind of want to get some lounges in here a little bit sooner than later. So what I'm thinking I might do is build some lounges up here. So what we could do is go to terminal, go to foundation. And uh, essentially, we're going to say, so foundation there, we're going to do this. And that's $100,000 to do that. That's a lot of money. But I think we could maybe do this, right? So we do, you know, $100,000 right there. We maybe go and say that there should be a wall here, which apparently there shouldn't be. Uh, let's do a wall there then to try and even that out a little bit. And I guess what I'm going to have to do is go bulldozer and tear out that bit of wall. And probably that and that and that as well. And then what I think we could also do is go in here with some more walls and say, let's do a wall there. And let's do a wall there. So that way we can go ahead and throw some doors into the middle of this. So a nice large door could go there and there. And then there and there. And that can be two airline lounges is what I'm thinking. We can throw a bunch of... Um, bunch of big old windows around this as well. Make it look kind of fancy. Looking out at the tarmac, looking out at the planes, all that good stuff. You can see them taking off. I think, I think that'd be kind of cool. So we'll go from medium here. And what we'll do is this and not that one. I want to cancel that one. Need to get some wall back in there. And like I said, we'll just have some nice big old uh, windows looking out over everything. So something a bit like that. We'll throw one in the middle there. We'll throw one in the middle there. We can throw one right at the end of that corridor as well. So again, going to be looking out at all the planes from the uh, from the lounge there. We are going to need to say that this whole thing is part of a secure zone. And all of this is going to be part of a secure zone and all of this is going to be part of a secure zone. That way it can actually hopefully get uh, built properly would be my thinking. Also going to need to put down some actual flooring in there at some point as well. But this way we can at least actually see what the airline lounges are going to be all about. Because I think that's kind of important. I think that's something I really want to do. And I'm thinking we could probably go into construction and we could probably maybe deploy, I don't know, let's say 40 contractors. That way we're going to go up to 50 contractors in total. And I don't think we need, you know, the hundred and however many 
that we can actually get here. So we'll just go ahead and get this built. We'll turn it into two, I want to say, relatively small lounges, if anything. Well, I say small. They're about the size of the secure well. Half the size of the security area, perhaps. I don't know. They're, they're maybe not that small. I've 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 been in a couple. I've been in a couple of, of airline lounges in my time, and I don't know. They all kind of vary. Some of them are really nice, to be honest. Some of them some of them are are really nice. Wait, what is this? So airline lounge defines a room where business and luxury passengers traveling with a certain airline can relax before their flight. Interesting. So it's a lounge linked to certain airlines. That's actually kind of cool. So then we throw in things like buffet tables, and I'm guessing we're probably going to want to throw chairs and stuff like that in here as well. So we'll do a couple of buffet tables like that and like that. So we could maybe do another one in the middle. I do love, I'm not going to lie. I am kind of a fan of, um, of, of like food from airline lounges. Is that like, that's a weirdly specific thing to be a fan of, isn't it? When I say fan, let me clarify. When I say fan, what I mean is I'm a really big fan of just like, I don't know, the the, the, the difference, right? Because you get the chaos of the, the departures area, right? And it's pretty chaotic, let's be honest. Um, and then you go into a lounge and it's like, oh man, this is quiet. And they've got like quiet areas as well. It's like, oh, this is quiet. There's comfy chairs. I love it. I really do. It's beautiful. It's beautiful, is what it is. Now, let's see here. Let's go for... I, I really don't know what kind of chair we want to go for in front of these. Presumably the modern one. Probably not the sofa. So we'll go for the modern chair. I wish I could click and drag to do this. That'd be kind of cool. But we'll throw a bunch of these modern chairs just into, uh, into this space. And the lounges are essentially going to be identical. I'm going to probably paint them a little differently and probably change some of the furniture colors a little bit, but for the most part, they're going to be largely identical. So that's fine, probably. Um, can I, by any chance, to drag out, to copy and paste a group of objects? So, oh yeah, this is much easier. So just do this. Let's just copy and paste the uh, the chairs the whole way along and then rotate and just do the same thing. Oh, they didn't, they, they did not rotate the way I hoped they would. Okay. Uh, so what we need to do then is grab these ones and we'll just go ahead and paste them in here as well. So something a bit like that. There we go. So that'll give us our chairs. That gives us our buffet tables. That gives us a place for people to recharge electronic devices, but I'm sure they're going to want other things as well. We also just got the subway. So let's go ahead and throw that in somewhere. I'm not really sure where. Maybe, maybe down here. Can it go? Oh, it can go in that space. Okay. That's quite tempting. What about one there and one? They're a hundred thousand each. Never mind. There'll just be one. Never mind. There is one subway entrance, and that is all they're getting. Okay, infrastructure, sidewalk, sidewalk can go right there, and that'll be our subway. Let's get back up to these lounges and see what we're doing. So, I do want to make these a little fancier. I want to get some modern sofas in here. So I'm thinking something like, let's see, we're going to want people to be able to sit and look out at the planes, right? So there and there for some sofas, and then there and there, and then we'll flip this around and we'll go to this side and we'll do exactly the same thing. So a couple of sofas there and there, and I think that'll be kind of nice. I think we could maybe do this and this as well. We could throw some, oh, I know what we can do. Give me vending machines. That's what we need. Aren't vending machines a, like totally a thing somewhere? I swear they totally are. I'm not imagining it. I placed them somewhere, didn't I? We have vending machines downstairs. We do. Hello. Okay. So where do I? I don't know where I get them. I'm not going to lie. I've completely, I've completely forgotten. I have genuinely, it's been, there they are. Why, why are they in, I guess terminal makes sense. Um, okay. Well, fair enough. Let's get back upstairs. Let me throw a vending machine in there, which I'm sure the fancy airline lounge is going to love. And we'll throw one in there. And that seems all right. We can throw a couple of vending machines elsewhere as well. We'll do some uh, do some garbage in the corners too, which is, again, going to be loved by people, I'm sure. But we'll do a little something like that. 
And then the airline for this can be, I don't know. I'm going to say fly penguin for that one. And I'm going to, wow, that's only two star. And this one is going to be, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maple Express is what it can be. Isn't Maple, like there's a different Maple airline, isn't there? We'll do Maple Express. We'll do, we'll do Fly Penguin. And that'll be totally fine, I guess. We should probably make these a little bit fancier, to be totally honest. So we've got just, these are outdoor flowers. We've got hedges, we've got plants. I feel like we probably want to do some plants like this, right? Maybe not the rounded ones though. I think we want the ones that have like the, the square. Is there is there one with the, okay, so these ones. Okay. No, they're, they're round as well. Is there one with like a square pot? I feel like, I want to say there isn't, so we'll do the rounded ones. We're going to do them here. That way it's going to be kind of, you know, bring a little bit of nature into the airport, which is probably lovely. I'm sure people are going to really enjoy that. I'm sure that, did it, so, so season change, spring is here and it starts snowing. Huh, okay, I mean, fair enough. Uh, I mean, I guess that happens from time to time. Apparently it was snowing somewhere in England recently and if you're not watching this as the video goes, out, it's currently June 2020. So apparently that was a thing. Apparently, apparently that was a thing. I don't know. I, I don't know if it's true or not. I just, I heard things. Anyway, what are the fly penguin colors? So this one's fly penguin. That one's maple. So it's, I guess, black and gold. Okay, that might be a little brave. That might be a little brave of me to want to go for like a black and gold color scheme. But I'm going to do it. We're going to try it. We're going to go for gold on the chairs. We're going to probably go for more of a dark gray on the, on the tables and stuff like that but we'll make it work. So all of this, I guess. And then the sofas as well. And then we want like a dark gray. And that's still a bit dark. We'll go for like that on the tables, I think. Can I, I can't paint those, unfortunately. I can't paint that. I can paint these though, which is nice. So I've got that going for me. And then these need painted as well. And thus far, I like to think a pretty brave color scheme. In terms of the floor in there, I feel like it's gonna have to be, it's it's gonna be a fancy mat, isn't it? I think around the buffet could maybe be some tiles. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say some tiles like that in the middle, which I kind of like the look of, I th I, you know, I kind of dig that. And then the floor could be yellow if we really wanted it to be. I'm just gonna go with like a fancy kind of gray, I think. We're not going to go too crazy with what the flooring should be on this place. And then I think in the walls as well, just do under the, uh, under the windows. And that seems fine. That seems all right. I think over here, we're going to do the same thing. And this one's going to be what it's, it's the maple one. So orange is the main color there. Interesting. Let's change that lounge to let's do goose wings just so it's a completely different color. I know that literally doesn't matter, but I, I want to do a different color. Uh, so we'll go for slightly stronger blue and that's what the chairs are going to be. So this is the goose wings uh, Lounge is what this is And I think that'll look kind of uh, kind of interesting. I think this will be a blue and probably white color scheme Is most likely what we're gonna go for here Kind of a nice strong blue and then maybe a slightly off-white just so it's not blinding And you know, I, I think it looks kind of cool You know, I, I kind of like the look of it that looks all right to me. And then the floor in here, I guess, is going to be, uh, I think it's going to have to be a light blue because there isn't a white carpet. And I think that looks, that's a lot of blue. That is a lot of blue, but I think it's okay. I think, I think we can make that work. So we'll do that kind of thing. And I think what we'll also do is go ahead and just under the doors, do some dark wood. All right. So we'll do that for uh, that area. And in here, I want to change that out to be some tiles because I totally can. There we go. So that'll be our lounges, I guess. They're not fancy at all. They're only two star, but that's all right, I guess. That's 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 probably fine, is, is my thinking. 
Room requires an information desk, a buffet table, and an assigned airline. Oh, it needs an info desk. Okay, I didn't know that. Uh, information desk, we can do the small one if we really want to, which actually, you know what? I kind of want to do the small one because it fits there perfectly, but the medium one's so much fancier. And it actually kind of fits there really nicely too. Let's do the medium one. And let's do a medium one. Let's go get some wall and put a bit of wall across there and a bit of wall across there. I like it. I think that's going to look really cool. All right, I'm excited. I'm actually really excited to see those come together. So we do have some news, though. We got the conveyor belt system. So we have got the ability to get some baggage stuff going on here, which I think is going to be all sorts of interesting. I really do. I think it's going to be all sorts of interesting to get some uh, some baggage claim in here, especially with the... Uh, with the lounges going in, so this could be this could be kind of exciting. Also, kind of curious to see, you know, who maybe you know what what kind of staff operate a lounge. Is it is it airline staff or is it staff from my airport? Is the uh, the question I've got to ask? Because I've got no idea. I would assume it's staff from my airport, sort of representing the airline, as it were. I guess we'll find out. I've just come to a really important realization that I'm almost certain we don't have any bathrooms. And I feel like that should be fixed. I feel like we should probably have some bathrooms. So let's turn this little space in here into... Let's get rid of that window. Let's turn this little space in here into a bathroom. Right, so that little space there. And let's also do some bathrooms over here. So we're gonna sort of push people around a little bit in a really awkward way as they come up those stairs. But I think that's probably okay. I want to say that's probably okay because I think having some bathrooms in here is probably a little bit more important. So let's do some doors there and some doors there. Let's do some doors... I guess right in the middle. We'll do a wall across the back. That'll be a tiny little bathroom. These will not be exactly huge, but it'll be a few different options, I think. And I, I, I'm a little bit sort of amazed that I've, it's just hit me. I think I, I, I'm pretty sure I've mentioned the bathrooms thing before. I could swear I have been like, oh yeah, we don't have bathrooms. I don't know though. It's me we're talking about. I might have just completely forgotten that bathrooms were at all a, a thing that anyone ever needed so you never know you can never be sure uh let's do some toilets along that particular wall and we'll do some toilets along that particular wall as well we'll go and do some toilets along that back wall and then we're probably not gonna bother with the uh, urinals so we'll just do that we'll just do some sinks also, speaking of urinals, yeah, we're, yeah, speaking of urinals, great, great, great segue and topic of conversation. Um, yeah, no, this is not going to be a super weird conversation, but the point is, um, the point is that, um, there's like two ways to pronounce that word. There's like urinal and urinal, right? Where you put the emphasis on the I. And the reason I'm bringing that up is I'm curious. Where do you put the emphasis? Is it just, does it just sort of all roll off the tongue? Just urinal. Or do you put the emphasis on the I with urinal? You can even roll the R. There's a third way to pronounce it. <laughs> there you go. You're welcome. Now you've got a third way to pronounce it. You have to, you have to commit and roll the R every time. Every single time. Uh, let's go ahead and open that up as well. So now we've got the, uh, we got two bathrooms before security. We got one after security. I imagine this one bathroom after security is going to start getting real busy. We probably want to get some bathrooms done in this way as well. So I think what we could maybe do is, I wonder if this will work. If I go and try and grab this and then pop down here, must be placed inside bathroom. Yeah, I figured it would do that. Okay. Well, I think what we could do, since apparently we can't just grab the the room with everything in it, 
is we can probably just we'll just build another one is what we'll do so we're gonna start in line with this bit of wall we're gonna start in line with that bit of wall we're gonna go to this side we're gonna do the same thing so there and there we're gonna go up to about that line so there and there then we'll go like this then we'll go like this and I think the door on this is going to be there and there. And then we'll just turn this into uh, into a pair of bathrooms, basically. So there we go. Turn them into a pair of bathrooms. We'll get some uh, some toilets and stuff in there shortly. We'll just throw the uh, throw some tiles in there too to make it all official. So something a bit like that. Uh, the toilets, quite simply, are just going to line that back wall. You know, that's that's uh, that's all that's going to be. It's going to be a beautiful symphony of sh which uh, I think will be. Uh, hmm. Yeah, that'll be it'll be beautiful is what it'll be. <laughs> I forgot hand dryers. Oh, boy. Oh, that's kind of gross, actually. Uh, we should probably get some hand dryers in here. Let's go ahead and do one, two, three. They can fight over them. They can violently fight each other for hand dryers. That's that's going to be the next big thing in 2020 is a shortage of hand dryers uh, going up to these ones. I mean, we have a little bit of room for some hand dryers, so we'll do one and two in that one. And then over here we can do uh, not that one, uh, one and two and one and two. That might be blocking one of the toilets. They're going to get one hand dryer each or two. Rather, they can they can have two. There we go. So a couple of hand dryers. Uh, we got some bathrooms. I imagine this will be good. I imagine this will help keep people kind of happy. I would have to imagine anyway. I know I'd be happier for it. You know, it's like, hey, we've actually got some toilets. That would be. I mean, I, I imagine it'd be kind of nice. So there we go. We got uh, we got a bathroom there. We need uh, need to get a sink in here, and then we can open this one as well. Even though it's not got all of the walls around it yet. Interesting. Okay, well, uh, open. It's not got all the walls yet, but we're not going to stress about it. People have got some bathrooms on each side, which is lovely. I think what I'm also going to do is actually go in there and say, let's throw in some small uh, sections of seating at either side of this, because a little bit of extra seating I don't think will hurt. I know when these big benches break, they my passengers will move elsewhere. So giving them a little bit of extra seating around there is probably not a bad idea. We could arguably do the same over here, and I think I'll just throw in another uh, large section of... Actually, no, we're not going to do that. We're going to make it look nice. Uh, we're going to do a small section of seating there, like so. And honestly, I'm going to throw some tables in there. So let's throw just a... Let's, let's cancel that. Let's throw a couple of tables there and a couple of tables there. We'll just make it look a little bit nicer, right? That can be a nice little section of the airport. It doesn't have to all be... You know, terrible looking. So that's 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 kind of a good thing. Got some bathrooms. We've got our lounges. The lounges are actually going to be opening kind of soon. I'm pretty sure they open at yep 4 a.m. So I'm kind of curious to see if anyone uses them. To be totally honest, I'm I'm really kind of curious to see if they actually get used at all because I've got no idea who actually operates them. I mean, thus far, no one is is the answer thus far there is no one actually in the lounges so who mans one of these desks that's probably the question i need to be asking so desk information desk i mean i'm assuming it's hmm i'm i'm assuming what i need is to hire some staff right so staff Applicants, I'm pretty sure it's passenger service agents. Why are you all terrible? You're hired. You're hired. The rest of you are awful. The rest of you are awful. We'll get you as well. So we'll get them hired, and then maybe we'll see some some of my workers maybe go to the desk. I really don't know. I feel like these aren't getting used yet. I mean, it's still... So it opens at 4 a.m. until midnight. It's clearly not open. Wait, what are you doing? I feel like you wanted... Oh, wait, no, you're just carrying your baggage because, yeah, we don't have baggage claim. Yeah, that would make sense. I forgot about that little detail. 
I, I, I may have completely forgotten about the detail that we don't, in fact, have baggage claim. Oh, well. Probably no big deal. Nothing to worry about whatsoever. Just kind of need some passenger service agents to go up here and uh, maybe, you know, work the uh, info desks in the lounges. We'll figure that out, though. It's not, it's not, you know, there's no rush. There's, there's not really any rush. Let's have a look at operations. Let's have a look at R&D. Let's start researching some more, some more things. So, I kind of want to get baggage. Oh, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. What is all this? So, automation. Self-check-in, baggage drop, self-boarding, automated passport checkout. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I love, 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 love self-check-in. I know I sound like I'm more keen about self-check-in than I should be, but I love it. Structural engineering is just concrete stuff. Proactive maintenance is proactive cleaning and repairs. I like the sound of that. So we'll go ahead and throw those into the uh, the old work tasks there. And I'm thinking that should be pretty good. Automation, like self-checking, you know, baggage, dro you know, just dropping it out. Like, I love that. That's my fa I love going through an airport and it's like you can check, you know, you check yourself in. You get the little machine, you check yourself in. You print out the tag for your bags, you put it on yourself, and then you try not to stick it together wrong, because that's a thing that I do all the time. And then it's like, man, this is good. I can check myself in, I can drop my own bags off, I can go through security. Occasionally, you get the fast track security, so like you're one of the first people through, you don't have to queue for all that long, you get into the departures area, you, you sit down, you think to yourself, am I gonna spend a stupid amount of money getting into an airport lounge? You realize, yes. Yes, you are going to do that. Then you go sit down in an airport lounge. Think to yourself, am I going to spend a stupid amount of money on overpriced drinks and food? Yes. Yes, I am going to spend a stupid amount of money on overpriced drinks and food. I absolutely am going to do that. And then you realize you've got 45 minutes until your flight. And you could have probably just went and got a Burger King in that time. And it probably would have saved you about 50 pounds. 